Aaron, just curious uh, what you're hoping to see tonight from your guys. Um, well, kind of the start of, of playing baseball, you know, a little, little more of a competitive situation, obviously, um, you know, hope to get a couple innings probably out of Jay and, and maybe Clark Schmidt, um, the other guys to obviously start getting their work in and live, live situations. Um, you'll see some, some, some times today we'll, we'll have some fielders on the field uh, as we build guys up. So infielders might be out there for four of the innings or so outfielders, maybe three of the innings. Um, uh, some guys will be running the bases. Some guys won't. Uh, it'll probably be more of a half three quarter speed guys running the bases as we build that that um, part of it up as well. Um, but just the start of, of trying to create and build those live reps as we're, you know, obviously getting pretty close to the season and we just began. How do you walk the fine line of wanting to get guys reps, but also not wanting to push them too far too early? Yeah, I mean, those are conversations we have every day as, as a staff, you know, um, talking with the training staff and strength and conditioning and trying to make, you know, really good evaluations as well as talking to the players about just exactly where they are. Um, so as best we can, putting them in a really good position to build up properly so that uh, they're, they're healthy and strong uh, as we enter the season. And then obviously even building up the first couple weeks of the season. You mentioned that Clark Schmidt would be throwing today. What stood out to you about the way he threw during spring training? Um, just pitch repertoire is, is excellent. Um, you know, his athleticism on the mound, uh, which, which allows him to have a real clean delivery. Um, there, there's an absolute presence to him. Like he, he believes he belongs here. Um, so just, you know, obviously I hadn't seen him in person to that point and he came in obviously highly touted and, um, you know, he, he looked the part. So um, we're certainly excited about his development so far and, and uh, looking forward to seeing him go out there tonight and, and, and start building. Thanks, Meredith. We could take our next question from Pete Caldera. Pete, if you can unmute. Aaron, uh, just curious what uh, the weather situation does to your other plans uh, before the inter-squad game today? Yeah, so – well, I'm sure you're looking at it right now. Is it raining? <laughs> you're on mute, yeah. Pete. You're on mute, Pete. Yeah. So it, um, we've got it covered right now. We think it. We think there's just going to be some pop-up things, hopefully. Um, so we're still hopeful that we'll have some level of of batting practice and on-field stuff prior to game time. But we'll just let the weather dictate that. For right now, it looks like we, we should be all right for, for, for game time. And we'll just uh, work around it as best we can. Take the next question from Christy Ackert. Christy, you can go ahead and unmute. Hi, Aaron. Um, Hi. There's a report out that you did not have testers show up yesterday. Um, and also that one player has been tested three times and only one result. Could you just tell us a little bit about the decision making on going forward with a workout after that? Um, we have not not have testers yesterday. Say the one one. I'm was sorry. Three. The one tester for three. Say no, there is a report out that one player said he's been tested three times. Right. And only has one result so far. All right. Uh, um, just. I'm just curious about your confidence in the testing process and right. the decision to go forward with playing. Yeah. Um, you know, we're confident in, in, in the protocols we have in place. Um, you know, I, obviously I know there were some issues surrounding, you know, the whole FedEx and the, and the 4th of July weekend. Um, we also feel like, um, nothing's perfect and nothing we do is perfect, but we do feel like the protocols we have in place are, are giving us the best chance to be safe. And, you know, whether tests are rolling in on a daily basis, every other day, the fact of the matter is nothing's perfect. And we're at risk every single day, even if we have all negative tests that roll in today, um, the reality is that test was from two days ago. So each day that we're here, 
uh, there's risk involved in that. Um, that's why as best we can, we're trying to mitigate that. I feel like we have a, a good system set up in place to do that. And uh, hopefully, you know, over time, it, it proves its metal. Thank you. Yep. Take the next question from Eric Boland. Eric, if you can unmute. Aaron, um, Jay Happ talked in the spring about how disappointed he was in his 2019 season, how motivated he was to, to have a bounce back year. In, in his few starts in the spring, what did you see from Happ? Yeah, he was terrific in spring. Thought he was throwing the ball really well. Um, you know, he, he worked closely, um, you know, obviously living down in, in, in the Tampa area. Um, so he came in in spring training and really ready to go and, and in a good spot. And, and frankly, we saw that the way he was able to finish the year last year, I felt like he, his stuff started to tick up again. You know, I think he battled through some things last year. Um, but, you know, I'm confident that if he's healthy and he's going out there and, and with his pitch repertoire, he's going to go out and have a very J Hap type season, albeit uh, a shorter season. But um, feel really good about what we were seeing, and hopefully now that can continue now that we've started back up. I'm getting a text from Mike Vaccaro. It sounds like he needs a little override. Mike, if we're just going to call on you, even though you're, uh, I guess, unable to ask a question, Mike, we're going to, if you can unmute, you can ask a question of Aaron. Hi, Aaron. Thanks. Um, I'm curious if, uh, if you believe that uh, the stuff you guys went through last year, the adversity, the injuries, if that puts you in any kind of unique situation to be able to know that you can adapt on the fly like teams are going to have to this year? Um, you, you know, I, I hope on some level, you know, the experience we've gone through and, and the successes that we've had in adverse situation, hopefully, you know, set the table, pave the way a little bit. Look, you know, one of the conversations um, that we have as a team and that I like to have with our guys, you know, at the start of spring training at, at different times of the year is, you know, in talking in the context of 162 game season, I don't care how great a year you, that you have, you're going to get, you're going to face adversity. You're going to get punched in the mouth. You're going to deal with some failures. Um, in, in last year's case, obviously, you know, it was a ton of injuries and, you've got to be able to navigate that. And, and part of being a big league ball player is being able to handle the adversities that are inevitable. And look, this year is, is a whole different ball game, right? It's a whole, you know, different level of adversity that, that we could have even imagined. You couldn't have imagined this going into the year. Um, I do feel like as much as anyone can be, we are equipped to deal with it and we'll face it. And, um, hopefully, uh, as a club, we handle it really well. Um, <clears throat> but we'll see. We, we know there's a lot of unknowns in front of us. And uh, if there's anyone that I'd want to go through that, it's, it's with the guys in our room that I feel like are equipped for it. But we understand how challenging it's going to be. Thank you. Next question from Sweeney. Sweeney, go ahead and unmute. Hey, Aaron, um, as players are still debating how safe it is to participate, mm -hmm. are you anticipating having to have conversations even going forward? Everyone's committed right now, but maybe a week from now, a month from now, as the situation changes, do you think you might have to have conversations and perhaps players drop out along the way? Um, again, I, I think that's possible, you know, for me to um, – say anything's impossible with with what we've gone through this year um i think would be a mistake so um we're just kind of really are taking this day by day right now um i feel like the resolve with our guys to a man is strong um but you never know what wrinkles get thrown at you along the way and and what you know, what next week, let alone what tomorrow looks like. So we'll just kind of face it head on and, and try and um, be supportive um, of our guys all the whole way through. Mm -hmm. Take the next question from Henri. Henri, if you can unmute, um, the floor is yours. 
Hi, Aaron. Um, I'm curious if uh, Masahiro has started any light exercise, and also if the concussion protocol goes well, when would be the earliest day to restart the baseball activity? Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I, I don't know what the earliest date. I'll, I'll start to ask that question later today and probably into tomorrow. Um, he, he, he did ride the bike today. Um, I think 15 or 20 minutes on the bike. So that's, that's obviously another important step as well as going through his baseline testing that he did really well on. Um, so look, all signs continue to be encouraging with Masa, you know, as he got his heart rate up today, there were no side effects, no symptoms. Um, so we continue to be encouraged, but, but, you know, like, like what we're doing with, in this new world of COVID, similar with Masa right now, we'll take it day by day, but I would just say we're very encouraged with where he's at and how he's responding. Thank you. Yeah. Take the next question from Jake Siner. Jake, go ahead and unmute. Hey, Aaron, I, I got two ones. Just a very quick follow-up to that on, on Masahiro. Is he technically still in the concussion protocol then? Yeah, I believe he's technically still in it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, my second one, uh, different topic. Just as a baseball lifer, I was curious, uh, one, how you feel about the, the new extra innings rule for this year? Um, and two, do you think it will affect roster construction at all when we do get to opening day? Um, I, I, I don't know how much it'll affect roster construction. Um, I think I'm okay with the rule uh, for this year. I certainly understand and, and I'm on board with it. Um, you know, I think it does tip the scales to to favor the home team. If you do get to an extra inning scenario with, with this rule in place. And, um, you know, I know I, I have a lot of our guys looking at it and, and trying to break it down and analyze it and, um, you know, see, see if there's any ways that we can best exploit it from a tacti tactical standpoint. Um, but, but I'm on board with it as far as, you know, staying away from that enormously long game that, that every now and then happens. I, I think that's a good thing for this year. We'll see how, we'll see how it looks. I don't really have a feeling on it moving forward. I wouldn't necessarily say I support it or don't moving forward. Um, I'll probably have a stronger opinion once, once we, we've played with, with that for a while. But f in the short term, I'm okay with it. I, I do think there's a tactical, um, some tactical advantages to be taken advantage of there if you can be smart about it. Lindsay, go ahead and unmute. Hey, Aaron, um, a few teams throughout the league said that they were tested on Friday and then hadn't received their test results due to some various things. Did you guys receive your test results from Friday? Um, I, look, I don't want to, I, I think some have ruled, I don't want to get into commenting on the testing each and every day about you know, how many negatives, did we have any positives, what came in. I, I really don't want to go down that road right now. Um, all I can say is, you know, we've, we're working closely with the league, um, with Major League Baseball, and making sure that, uh, you know, we are as safe as can be as expected in, in, in how we're, you know, conducting ourselves. And I feel good about us being here. Can I have a second yeah, sure. kind of unrelated question, but what exactly does DJ or do DJ and Luis Sessa need to do to get cleared to return? Do they need to test negative twice at home before coming for intake or do they need to test negative and then fly in? And test yeah, negative I, I think it's even intake? a little more, uh, there's a little more to it than that. I think you've got a, the, there's a joint panel that has to sign off on things as well. Um, there's obviously a couple negative tests that have to happen. Um, and that's got to be in conjunction with, you know, all the major league protocols. John Schwartz, you have the next question. You can unmute. Hey, Aaron, how are you? Um, I was asking Matt Blake this the other day. I'm curious, how much are you paying attention right now to 
what other teams are doing around the league, not just like performance based or anything, but literally how they're navigating this and trying to see, you know, in terms of interest card games and things like that, just kind of what best practices you guys can take in to kind of get yourself to July 20th. Yeah. Um, we're having those conversations to some degree. Um, you know, I've had a couple of conversations with other managers. I know Matt's had some conversations with other organizations, other, other coaches of ours have had conversations with, you know, other coaches or players in the league, just to, you know, uh, certainly get a feel for what other clubs are doing. Maybe things that are working well for them that are maybe good ideas that we haven't thought of um, that not only help from a baseball standpoint, but just from a, from a logistical standpoint every day an operational standpoint every day. So um, we're trying to keep our ears and eyes open to that. And um, you know, I, I find right now too, that um, obviously, you know, it's a competitive and competitive environment, but I think, in, in all that we're going through right now, it does seem like the baseball world, the fraternity as a whole are, are being very supportive of one another in, in trying to, you know, help each other out when, whenever possible. And that's been my experience so far.